Hello Aries, Amy Energy here with the tarot message for you. We're working with the Urban Tarot. We're going to pull out six cards and clarify with the Rider Waite Smith deck. Okay, and we are going to see how your person feels about you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some cards out here. All right, pulling out for your person's current energy, how they feel about you, the action they would like to take towards you, your current energy, how your person thinks you feel about them, and best advice for you in this situation. The Fool is on the bottom of the deck, so, oh, I feel like there's really lovely energy, um, really trusting and believing in love here with our person. Okay, but let's get into it. Okay, your person's energy is the art card coming out here. So I do feel like our person is someone who is just really great, right? Like they really can make the best out of a bad situation. Um, they're very helpful. Okay, death coming out and the emperor on the bottom. Okay, so I feel like your person is is a very strong energy. Like they are someone who's kind of like a jack of all trades. And I do feel like they are building something here. Okay, and I do feel like with the death card, there's definitely like a major transformation going on. Okay, so I want to keep going and get some more info on this connection. All right, Knight of Swords, the Game Master. This is how your person feels about you, okay? So I feel like this is like an incredible relationship. Truly, I feel like you're incredibly intelligent and you have transformed this person, right? That's why they're coming out with the, the death card because when they met you, their whole life changed for the better, right? And you are so smart here with the Knight of Swords. You are literally just a person who's just very much in their integrity, okay? Um, but I do feel like this could create some anxiety for your person, right? They feel like they have to fool you. They feel like they can't be straightforward with you. Okay, they feel like they have to pretend like they're as smart as you are. Wow. Okay, but they want to give you everything. With the ten of discs coming out, they want to give you literally everything. Yes, they want a happy home with you. The whole nine yards. Okay, nine of pentacles. They want to keep you, they want to keep you comfortable, but they also want to keep you to themselves, right? They want to like be your keeper here. Okay, we don't love that, so they better get a grip. But they want to keep you really happy and satisfied so that you never want to leave them, right? I feel like this person thinks the second you get out, your, out of their sight, you'll find someone better. Okay, yeah, your current energy is the Six of Pentacles, so you're very generous with this person. You really give a lot, okay? Six of Swords. So I feel like you're in an energy where you're really understanding that to give love is to receive love, right? You're a very evolved person, Aries. The Aries watching this, you're evolved, right? With this Empress, you have a lot of love to give and you understand what a gift it is to give. You really do. You've been through some shit in your life. You understand what's really great about this person also. Like you understand that this person is generous and you, you know, you've been around the block. So you 
can see the contrast between this person and other people that maybe you've been with that weren't as generous with their time, money, whatever it might be. Okay. How your person thinks you feel about them is the strength card coming out, okay? So, in this energy here, we, we're evolving, and I do feel like your person almost feels like you are trying to gently change them, like make, make changes in their life, okay? But it's coming from your heart, so I do feel like they... They appreciate and, and love that you want to help them, okay? But also, I feel like, I feel like your person has kind of, you know, they're really not feeling great about themselves. Okay, Ace of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck, so I feel like your person feels like you're disappointed in them and you're literally only with them until the next opportunity comes. Like you would take the first opportunity that came to you. That's how your person really feels. And that's effed up. And that's a sign that they need to do some inner work and they need to do some healing, okay? Your advice is fortitude. Okay, so with this energy, the Nine of Wands, Fortitude, we're really, you know, we're, we're overworked and we're overburdened, and it's clarifying with the Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So, I do feel like, Aries, it is time for us to take some sort of action on our own mental health. Like maybe get a, a an opinion from a therapist or maybe even go to couples therapy, right? If you, because with this nine of wands fortitude, this is all about enduring. I mean, look at this mail carrier on the cold New York City street, you know? You've been in that situation, you're so cold and you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna be home soon, I'm gonna be home soon. Like. I feel like that's how you feel within your relationship, Aries. You feel like, you know, it's a lot. It's, it, you have to keep pushing forward, but it's something that you want. So I feel like with the Eight of Swords, there are some things that you, your relationship, it's not, you're not gonna get through it on your own, right? You need some extra additional help. So, you know, there's no shame in therapy. Weird people, boomers, I don't know, they like had some idea that there's something wrong with therapy. It's literally the best thing you can do for yourself. Um, and if you didn't have a good experience with therapy, like there's like bad therapists out there. So, you know, maybe try a different therapist. But I definitely see a lot of value in therapy and uh, especially in this reading, okay? Because there's pain in this situation and I feel like we're trying to ignore it, right? We got the Three of Swords and the Fool. So there's pain, betrayal, heartbreak. It's existing, but I feel like both parties in this situation are trying to ignore it and just push forward and just be really carefree, but that's, you know, you can be carefree for so long, but if you have a problem, it's gonna come up again and again and again until you actually take the time to dissect. Yes, with an exclamation point. So we have yes over this reading. So I feel like yes, this is a positive um, overall. Yes, yes, we want to work on this. Yes, it's worth our effort, okay? And we have abundance, okay? So I do feel like you and this person really, and yes, on the bottom of the deck too. So, I mean, I do feel like things are really going good for you right now with this person in your life. Things are going great, right? I do feel that. I feel like the universe is just saying yes, yes, yes to everything you want right now. 
Um, and but I do I do feel like there is also this need to, you know, yes, enjoy everything you've accomplished, enjoy the fruits of your labor here, but also there's some issues that are gonna pop up, right? They're gonna pop up. This person feels very insecure. Okay, you do not want your partner feeling insecure, trying to control what you do, you know what I mean? You do not want a partner who thinks that you are going to jump on the first opportunity you see outside of them because then they're gonna want to keep you under their thumb. And you, no, we don't do that. We don't do that, okay? And I feel like you are, you're holding yourself back right now just to appease this person. It's only gonna last for so long, Aries only going to last for so long that you'll be able to do that without it really creating a, a reaction in you. Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards. Okay. That's true. That's, that's true. Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Believe what you see, face reality, or live in fucking la-la land. Choose bravely. All right. There's your reading, Aries. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Share my channel with a friend. I do these for all 12 zodiac signs. Follow me on Instagram at Amy Energy. Follow me on TikTok at Amy Energy 3. But most importantly, have a wonderful day. I love you. Take care.